Good morning. I bet you thought you saw the last of us, but no, we're back here one more time at least. You would be wrong. <laughs> you would be wrong, yeah. Well, we did, we're going to have a little two-parter here today. So the first part we wanted to talk to you about is, um, for those of you who aren't quite aware of it, we are retiring. And we have done a sale in the last month or so, however long it's been, um, to deplete our inventory, obviously. So the first part here is we've got a few odds and ends of kits left. So we're going to have a special page um, on the website or wherever it's going to be, and it'll have these kits, and they'll be 55% off. Ish. 50 give plus, or take. Yeah, 50 yeah, plus. Or, yeah, 50% off, give or take, whatever it's going to be. So we thought we would just run around real quick and tell you what they were and show you what we've got. All right. So this one is called Tranquil Woods, and it's just a beautiful um, bucolic scene of um, woods, whatever, whatever. Just a great wall or a lap quilt, whatever you want to do with it. And then we've got a couple wool projects. This one is Deck the Halls. Um, cute little one with the little tongues on it. So this is wool with a, a linen background. Y'all are singing, I know you are. Yep. And then this one is called Pocket Full of Posies. You can sing this one too if you want. <laughs> this is one ashes, that, um, believe it or not, some of these, believe it or not, we just finished up. And this was one I just finished up. And it's cute, it's so much cuter now when I finished it. The threads and the little um, dragonfly added so much to it. I was much happier actually when it was done than I was when I was doing it. I really am happy with how it turned out. So that's another one. Um, this one <laughs> I just finished a couple nights ago, and this one is called um, Joy Pillow. Joy to the World Joy pillow. to the World Pillow. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. And it's a pillow, and we did our famous used toweling, and then you um, sew on your buttons or stuff a pillow form in, sew on your buttons. I was going to say if you ever wanted to wash it, but this you probably wouldn't wash. Yes. But this one was kind of fun, too. I don't know if you can see. This one was eh, 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 until I put the buttons and the bells on it. And then it is, again, cute, cute, cute. We've been telling you for years, guys, go through your embellishments buckets. Yes. And if you don't have one, you need to start one. Yes, start those weird things. And then this is just a little candle mat or hang it in the window, whatever. This is called Season's Greetings. Mm -hmm. And again, get your little doodads out and... Actually, on that one, the um, we, seed beads came Yeah, with we the did kit. include the seed beads on it. I used metallic thread. You can use whatever your little heart desires. Did you tell them what the little tops of the ornaments are made of? Oh, I, this one, um, instead of stitching them or did well, I took um, silver rickrack. <laughs> and I just cut a little mm of the rickrack and put it on top. Sometimes that can be very... Was that my idea, the no, pattern? I think that was the pattern. I, I wasn't going to steal your thunder, but... Okay. <laughs> this one... Well, actually, do this one, and then we'll oh, okay. come back to the last one. This one is called... Sunrise Farms. Sunrise Farms. And it's just a very nice little scrappy... Really great, great for kids. a little boy. Yeah. Well, you can a little girl, girl too. You're right. You're yeah, right. you can have girl farmers. But it's just you got, got all the... You got your chickens. You got your cows. I think that this was a border stripe. Yes, it was. And you cut the uh, box out of the border stripe to get what you needed out of it. And um, so the, we've got kits left of all of these. And then there's a couple even more that we don't have pictures or we don't have the actual model. Yeah. And then this is my last, my piece de resistance. <laughs> and um, Your grandmother is, would be appalled at your French. I know she would. <laughs> this is called Abby's Treasures. And this was one of those quilts where I always wanted to do it but never had the time. And when we first started the online store, we thought, oh, well, we can just show you pictures and it'll be adequate. Well, it wasn't adequate. You all wanted to see the actual model. Well, here's Abby's actual model. And I really enjoyed doing this. I really enjoyed doing the handy applique. So that, sorry, I didn't have a chance to pick the threads off. So this one I appliqued and I used our our rods that you all- Sticky sticks. Sticky sticks Stitchy. or stitchy sticks or the- um, Appliquick rods. Appliquick rods, thank you. So, or you can do any kind of applique you like, but that's what I used on it. And I had done applique for a while, so it was kind of fun to get back in it. And then these are all um, Abby's, well, no, what's her face? I can't remember. Missy Carpenter. Missy Carpenter. This is, was a line of her fabric called, wasn't it Abby's, Abby's Treasures? Abby's Treasures, Abby, I think, yeah, yeah, I think it was, yeah. So it may look difficult, but it's not. It's very there's a lot of sewing because there's a lot of little pieces. Well, and the thing is but, with the blocks, they were all oversized. Right. Well, yeah. And what you did is basically what you did is you made a strata of that. And then you made this little unit. So it was a piece with a triangle on each side, attach it on each side, and then you just squared it up. 
So it was not difficult. The most important thing about this one, and I will be very happy to show you, was the pressing. You had to, because you we all know. You didn't it intentionally just for Yes, because, yeah, right. Um, you want to make sure that when you press your block, you press one side out, one side in. One side out, one side in. Because by doing that, you have butted seams throughout the whole piece, and it goes together very, very easily. One thing I did a little differently from her, she did miter her borders. I did not feel the need for it. So I did not. But other than that, I think it turned out really nice. Very reproduction-ish um, quilt. I liked it. And then um, this one also is a baby quilt or a little kid's drag around. Do you remember what this one was called? Happy Day. Happy Day. And What I liked uh, in this one because there's a lot of characters in the... It, start, it was started out with a jelly roll. Jelly roll. So the two and a half inch strips. So it's definitely a little bit more on the modern side. Contemporary, yep. Yep. But it can go either gender, whatever way you want to want to go. But it's got little alligators. Lots and of what you did here. for the back, because you must have had leftover pieces. Yeah, because it's like 46 square. <laughs> we put a little strip down the middle. Yep. Threw to, my leftovers in there. Yep, put your leftovers in there, and it all works out really well together. So anyways, that's some of the ones that we have. The kits are left over, so if you're at all interested, just pop on. The link that's wherever it is, I'm sure it'll be yeah, where it has to be. It'll be right on the homepage. Okay. Or actually, it'll probably be down below the right. video. So now we need to move a few things around, and we'll be right back with you. Hi, everyone. It's us again. We didn't even change our clothes to make no. this new one. <laughs> when we were seeing a lot of you in the last couple of weeks when you were in and out and everything, the probably the most frequently asked question is, what are you going to do now? And after I told everybody about my new lounge chair that I ordered, which I still haven't taken out of the box, our next response was, we can't stop sewing. It's not in our DNA. Mm -mm. So we We've are doing this for 37 years. You, cold turkey is just not it's our, not gonna our work. style. Yeah, it's not going to work. So what we are doing is we are starting a subsidiary, I guess you would say, of material rewards. And it is called... Two Sisters Quilt Company. Two Sisters Quilt Company. Yeah, I wonder where we came up with that one. I know. <laughs> Or nothing if not an unimaginative, whatever. And so what we're going to do is we are going to sew and we are going to sell our finished things. We will not be selling parts as parts anymore. That's that's yeah. the that's the old material rewards. Now we are material rewards slash two point oh. Yeah, two sisters quilt company handmade heirlooms. So if you need a gift, if you know somebody who needs a gift, if you... You're getting to that age where it's, just, it's not your thing anymore, or you, or you don't have time for it anymore. You then know? you come to us. Mm -hmm. So we are going to have a new website. <clears throat> Beth has been, <coughs> excuse me, working and working to try to get it put together. So you'll be able to see that now. I believe that there will be links, however mm -hmm. that works. So the way that this is going to work is, um, those of you that are on, our, are on our mailing list now, if you would like to remain on the mailing list, there's going to be a link down below that you can click and you'll just have to go and re-put re your information. At this point, it'll just be your name and email address. That's it. Because we know that this is not going to be for some of you anymore. I mean, you're making your own stuff, then you know, you don't need us. So, <laughs> but maybe someday you will. You never know. Or if you're at the last minute and I don't have anything, but I need something, that's that's where we might come in and be handy for you. So, so if you want to continue getting um, information from us, now we will not be doing Tuesday to Thank you. I was just gonna budget with it. We're not going to be doing um, weekly, weekly emails no. for you. You may get one a month. So it's like you know if we have new stuff that we're adding to the to the website or if there's you know maybe we've got pulled a bunch of stuff together for fourth of july if you know you're looking for a runner or placemats or something like that then i mean and you can always go ahead and sign up for it and if it's not what you're looking for then unsubscribe at a later date that, that's completely up to you but that's what you'll need to do to carry forward you will need to re-up re and resubscribe for our newsletter and we don't want to drop people off if they don't want to be, but right. we are. If we don't hear from you, we will assume that you are. Um, no, you have to re. You <clears> have to <throat> re put your information in, or else it will. It will stop. Right. And if you have friends that want mm -hmm. it, just let them know. If they have never gotten our stuff before, you just have to let them know that that's what they have to do. We're very um, excited about this. We are very excited about this. Um, we will eventually not be in this location mm -hmm. um, on Sandy Hill Road. 
So we have, been, at least I have been, and actually Marty's too, we've been redoing our sewing areas at home to try to make it, I know That's Marty's very, is a mess right now, but mine actually is starting to look like something that's very exciting because I've never really, before, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've never really had, well, mine is tiny compared to yours, but so we, that is how we are, that is what we are working towards. We will have things up, hopefully seamlessly, and if you had decided, if you listened to the first, the prior um, part of our email, then you can still find those kits mm -hmm, yeah. on this wherever if, you If link. there's a kit that you want, you can just go ahead and click on it. It probably will redirect you to the new site, but everything is going to be exactly like you did before. You'll just have to input your information and we'll get it shipped out to you. Not a problem. And the email will stay the same? Is that what it's going to be? Or is email, that going to be chain? No, I think the email will still, still stay the same, yes. And if it's not, we'll let you know about that. But if you have a question or if something does not work smoothly, just pop us off an email and we will try our best to help you. It's a different venue for us. It's a different Starting thing. Starting something new at our age. I know, but you know what somebody said to me, actually it was one of your brothers said, good that you're not stopping altogether. That's why when you get old. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's easy for him to say. <laughs> Making me old, but that's okay. Now then, because is that all we kind of needed to do? Well, plus our, just a wrap up, but okay. yes. The one, the one other thing that I did want to also oh. add into it is, we, I, we've told you before, but I am going to continue the machine quilting. And for those of you who have had a quilt in it, I am so, 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 so apologetic that it has taken so long to get your quilts back to you. But this is hopefully going to alleviate that problem, too. Not hopefully, it will. It will alleviate that problem, too. So um, I am still going to be machine quilting. My contact information is below so that you can reach me and we can, you know, set up times to get together, whatever, if you want to drop off a kilt or when you want to pick up a quilt. When we sell the building and, you know, the machine quilting is coming to my house. I live five minutes in that direction, if that. So it's really not that far away from me. So if you still want machine quilting from me, you are more than welcome. I'd love to do it for you. And like I said, just kind of hold on to my information. It's the home phone. And you can get in touch with me anytime that way. So to wrap this all up finally for this one, because we will be we'll be talking to you again eventually. You haven't seen the last of us. But um, again, a huge thank you. Yeah. The last month has been very bittersweet because we have seen a lot of you that we haven't seen. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because one of the other comments that I always made to people was, you know, when everybody was getting teary, us included, and they would say, oh, we're never going to see you again. I said, don't worry, we're probably going to bump into you in, in Wegmans. Well, wouldn't you know, Marty and I went shopping into to a different store. First day we went out. Yes, the first, first day. day. we And we did bump into one of our ladies. So We well, used to live in Hawaii, for <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> So it's not the last you'll see of us. We'll bump into each other at some point in time in life or whenever it may happen yeah, to be. Know. But thank you so much for everything you've done with yes. us, for us. We've made us. so many friends over the last 37 years. We can't count them. Yep, we can't count them. We and count them. we are very blessed. Yep, we, we are very blessed. You. Even though we're tired, we have bags under ours. And I probably have put on 50 <laughs> pounds since I've been in this business. Oh, but other than that, it's Hopefully been it's a... it's going to come off too. That's soon. Yeah, and it's a, been a wild ride, but it's been a great ride. So yep. thank you all for joining us. And still us. please quilt. Still keep quilting. Yeah, you know? and there's other stores out there. Yep. Not as good as us. Don't tell anybody <laughs> I said that. But yes. But if you ever need anything, just give us a holler and we'll yep. try our best to help you. All right. So for now on, this is Two Sisters Quilt Company signing off. <laughs> See you later. So we're, we're, we're trying out the retirement thing. Eh. No, it's not there. You know how when, wait a minute, what is the phrase? You make a plan and God laughs. God laughs at you. So he's laughing hysterically. Yeah, we just. We can't get our poo together lately, it seems like. But anyways, this is what happened. After our above video that you just watched, um, we had a situation where some person decided that they wanted to buy all of our racks, which was yippee fabric skippy. Racks. Fabric racks. Yes, yippee skippy, except for the fact that they we still, still have a boatload of fabric. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a lot of fabric there. That we were figuring out what we were going to do with. So anyway, we thought it was going to happen the other way around, but yeah, wrong but again. it didn't happen. So we had to make a quick. Okay, now what do we do? Hmm. Now what's to do? What to do? What to do? So we have come up with a plan. To another plan. Another plan. I don't know if we're on CZ <laughs> or whatever, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think we're on A one. <laughs> We've gone through the whole alphabet. So we're we're um, babbling here. 
So what we decided we're going to do, because, and again, I know when some of you came to our sale a month ago, it was mayhem, chaos, and uncomfortableness with the weights and the lines for cutting and all of that. So we've decided, we have figured out how to eliminate that issue. What we're going to do, what we've started to do, is we're going to th going through all of our fabric, and there's lots of it, folks, um, and we are doing bundles. So every fabric will be um, marked down. Marked. So, so what we're going to do measured, is marked. June, June 29th and 30th and July 1st. So not this weekend, the following weekend. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're going to open the doors hopefully one last time. Never say never. <laughs> hopefully one last time. And you're going to come on in and, yeah, everything is going to be pre-measured. So there's not going to be waiting lines for the cutting table anymore. And we've marked the fabric all down to $5, $5 a, yard. a yard. $5, $5 a, yard. a yard. So that's basically less than cost. So that's what we figured. You know what? We've offered it to other people. And we're going to offer it to you guys now. Well, it's we your just, turn. We wanted to go to a good home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're, we're we can use it. a lot of fabric. We can't use that much. So, right. and I, let me say this again: we want them to go. Want it to go to good homes. We don't want it to go to a thrift store bin. So, anyways, anyways, we're we're digressing again. Yeah. So, this so we're going to send another notification out next week, just as a reminder. But it'll be ten to four each day. So the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, not this weekend, the following weekend, ten June. to four each day. Come on in, five dollar yard fabric. Yeah, and it's June. 29th, 29th, 30th, 30th and, the and first. July 1st, right. and it'll be $5 a yard, yep. and we can't cut the bundles apart if you decide nope. you want to share what they it. Are. Yeah, if you want to share it with your friend, you can go out in the parking lot and chop it right back up, but it, we we won't be cutting, so that's going to expedite things, so you don't have to plan on coming spending two hours. That was ridiculous, and we do apologize for it. So, this is not to say goodbye. <laughs> so long, farewell. <laughs> We'll see you on the 29th and 30th of June and the 1st of July. Okay, bye.